vacuum time. Stuff in here. Lunch complete. This book variety. Hi, honey. So good. It's on the milk matcha. She's so pretty. Outfit of the day. Wish country. The perfect weather. Bomb shop. Like at one. Oh my god. Good morning. So So good. Put a face mask on. Lit a candle. I ran a bubble bath. So excited. Cinnamon and honey. So excited. Blueberry yoga. Slay. Dinner tomorrow night. Looks insane. Sorry. Pastries. Uh, I don't know what to get. <laughs> Farmer's market. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I am. Oh, so tiny. I know. Two eggs. I actually slept terribly last night. Good morning, guys. Thought I'd start my day with a little bit of skincare. Spot patch because my perfect skin is not looking so perfect anymore. I've decided to pretty much do a social media detox. I feel like I'm just on social media way too much and consuming so much content. Really feel like it's stunted a lot of my creativity. We as humans are not really supposed to be like scrolling through an app for hours a day. I don't know. I just feel like I'm getting dumber and dumber by the day. There's just so many things I want to do in life. I'm always finding myself being like, well, where did the time go? And I've done nothing with my time. I feel like there's just so many more productive ways I could be spending my time. So I thought it'd be fun to vlog like a week in my life doing a social media detox. Very exciting. Today is Monday 9.48 a.m. As you can see I'm starting the day off doing some very necessary eyebrow plucking. I don't usually let my eyebrows like grow out this much but let's fix that. Slime. I made a few like daily rules. One of them being I want to go on a walk every day, trying to get those steps in. I want to eat healthy. Each new day I want to create something, whether that's like painting, writing, a new recipe. Maybe it's a new YouTube video for you guys. Let's go ladies. Eyebrows are done. Slime. My face just feels so much cleaner. I'm getting ready to go to a coffee shop and I've been putting on a little bit of makeup. I got this new freckle pen, Makeup Revolution. like it, but I feel like I just dotted freckles like all over but not in a cute way. Yeah, let me know if this looks terrible. Actually, don't. Perfume time. Best. And we'll do a little bit of this one for fun too. Oh my god. It's crazy that the best cappuccino on earth is like 10 minutes away from my house. Sometimes I come to this cafe and they have really good stuff and sometimes it's mid and today they have a really good stuff Which sucks because I'm trying to eat healthy right now But they have a white chocolate cookie that looks so good and they have gluten-free coffee walnut cake Which is my favorite and they have a gluten-free Victoria sponge cake, which is my second favorite type of cake But this is the best cappuccino. It's 11 a.m. I'm doing some grocery shopping right now. We have some stuff in here. The best protein sourdough. Almost 12 grams of protein per slice. Some asparagus, some purple sprouted broccoli. Thai green soup. A little mix of everything. Making some lunch, doing like a Greek salad. I've been watching my friend Sarah Grace's YouTube videos. Okay, I know I said no social media. Like I'm fine with myself watching like a YouTube video here and that. The whole goal with this is I just don't want to be like aimlessly scrolling on like TikTok and Instagram for hours. Like that's the only thing I don't want to do. I enjoy watching like YouTube videos here and that. It gives me inspiration. It's like I'm cooking, not just sat down like doing nothing. That's my little disclaimer. Time to assemble. I'm gonna do half of this like beetroot salad stuff. I'm gonna do like half of this Greek salad. And I'm gonna add some sardines. Okay, don't knock it till you try it, it's so good. A tin of sardines in olive oil. A pinch of salt. Maybe two. My lunch complete. A little taste test. So good. It's 1 p.m. This afternoon I'm gonna go on a walk. I'm so excited because I invited Sammy over. She's coming over this weekend. I'm gonna film a video with her, I think. We need to start planning that. I am tracking what I'm eating because I want to be able to hit certain protein and fiber goals. And I am doing calorie deficit. This summer, I've been drinking a lot. I haven't been eating healthy. Just really not treating my body the way I should be. I just like mentally and physically haven't been the healthiest lately. And I'm hoping that this week will kind of kickstart that. I just want to get my creativity back. I want to get my health back. I was sick for a while. I'm still kind of recovering a little bit. I had the flu really bad last week. I was bedridden. I was 
was not okay. So I'm a little weak and I'm just trying to get my fitness back. On a little dog walk. Guys, I am so full from lunch. Oh, oh God, Otto's pooping. Be right back, I gotta clean this up because I am a good citizen. Just been lying out under the sun. I kept having to like move this chair into like the most awkward positions because the sun keeps moving, but just lying out in the sun. The best song. Got that 10k steps. Been on FaceTime to Regina, just catching up. I really want to start reading, so I have this book, Verity, that I've been meaning to read for a while. Just smashing up a bunch of avocado because I'm going to make um, avocado toast. Toast up a piece of this. Adding a little drizzle of olive oil. Love tomato and feta on my avocado toast. Of course, some salt and pepper just to hold me over before dinner. <gasps> I've just been working out and doing Pilates in my mom's room. She has like weights and stuff and like a Pilates ball and like a ring. I will never hate on like at home workouts and things like that. When I first ever started my fitness journey, it was during lockdown. I didn't have a gym membership or anything. I would just go on long walks every day and I would do literally like 10 minutes of abs and butt in my room. I saw really insane results. It was consistency. I would do 100 crunches and 100 leg lifts, butt lifts in my room every day. Literally breaking a sweat right now. The type of stuff I'm doing right now, just some abs and butt. Bath time and dinner time. And to Anyone that says it's gross that I eat dinner in the bath, you just clearly don't have a very clean bathroom. I always eat in the bath, my favorite comfort place. I'm making sure not to make it too hot today because yesterday I had a bath that was way too hot and I literally had a headache the whole night. I grew up, I was so nauseous. So maybe don't do that, but I do usually love a really hot bath. This is dinner. The whole eggplant, some purple sweet potato, and some shrimpies. Morning guys, it's currently 9.30, just woke up, brushed my teeth, did my skincare, yeah, let's get this day started. Barberine. <coughs> Cute. So we were gonna go to the gym, but instead my mom and I are gonna do like an at-home workout and then I'm gonna go on a little walk. Just because when we started planning the day, we realized this is gonna take too much time driving all the way to the gym and back. I have some fruit for breakfast, I have some papaya and mango, and this is like the best mango in the world. Walk time. I'm on a long walk. Fields all around. So nice walking through here. I know, I know, I know. Maybe I don't want to sound righteous. I got 20 bitches like a light prices. I just eeny, meeny, miny, mother. Slay. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Slay. Just got back from my walk. It's 11 a.m. Say hi. <gasps> hi, honey. Hey. Teaspoon of olive oil. Balsamic glaze. So I finished getting ready and I made some avocado toast that I'm gonna eat in the car. Let's do a quick little taste test. Oh my god. The balsamic was the move today. So good. Look how cute. Still in the world. Super cute little town. They do Winston's Cotswold ice cream. Oh my god, this looks so good. I was gonna get a coffee, but I think I might do a matcha because they have organic Japanese matcha. Stop, this is so cute, guys. Look at this little tea room. <sighs> guys, this is so cute. Iced almond milk matcha with extra matcha and vanilla. It's my favorite order. It's good, but very sweet. This village is so pretty. This is why I love the Cotswold. This is my outfit of the day. In white t-shirt, white linen pants, cute little sandals. English country homes. Guys, I just got a candle. It smells so good. A little candle shop down there. Do I look pretty? No. <laughs> God, this looks so good. We're sharing half each. Comment below if you do cream first and then jam or jam and then cream. I know I said I was gonna be healthy. I had half of a scone with jam. I'm having half a sausage roll. I feel like that's not that bad. Put your tongue in. <laughs> Helps me concentrate. <laughs> this is really good. How cute. Oh my god. It's like the perfect weather, perfect day. I'm so excited, guys. I have been wanting to come here for the longest time. They have actually Dalesford cafes in London, and I've been, I love. But we're finally at the Dalesford farm here in the Cotswolds. It's like the OG farm shop. Well, I want you to do floristry. floristry. Wait, I want to do that. Oh my god, look how good this looks. Oh my god, these look amazing. It's so cute in here. Peanut butter jelly ice cream sandwiches, only 120 calories each. So funny, my mom goes, this is gonna be like a one. And I'm like, yeah. And there's soups. 
Look, they have a coconut chicken cart. Love this one. This is the Thai chicken bone broth. Oh my god, guys, look how cute the blueberry yoga looks. I feel like this place would be so cozy in like winter time. That looks insane. Oh my god, the drumsticks and the lamb chops. So that's the restaurant. Guys, they have wine. God, all the different honeys. Oh my god. These are my favorite sardines in the world. I love those. I love Oritz. Oh, guys, this is literally the best smelling candle ever smell in my whole life. Of course, here's my mom at the dog section. You buy more stuff for the dogs than you do for me. Yeah, but I love them more than I love you. Hi yeah, to Sammy. I'm making my dinner. I had for yesterday's lunch. I added this um, sardines with like an onion confit. This girl's acting crazy. Ow. Ooh, flavor is really delicious. Taste test. Mmm, so good. So good. Healthy salad to balance out the day. This looks amazing. Good morning. Or should I say good afternoon? It's like coming up on 1 p.m. I have just been chilling in bed, editing. Already starting to edit this video. Just so at the end of the week, I'm not left with like a ton of footage and I'm super overwhelmed. This is so many times where I scratch footage just because like I get too overwhelmed to edit it. So for like a week long vlog like this, it's nice to like edit as the days go by. Okay, I just made some scrambled eggs. This is two eggs, one egg white, and a splash of raw milk. Just to make it nice and creamy. And then I add on a good amount of these nutritional yeast flakes. I love this stuff. It adds just like a cheesy flavor and they're super high in protein. Of course, some salt and pepper. I forgot to mention, I was also snacking on some papaya whilst I made this. You guys don't understand, I was craving scrambled eggs with nutritional yeast flakes so bad. It's so simple, but so like nostalgic for me. I've been eating eggs with nutritional yeast flakes for years. Watching some Cindy Crawford, staying nice and hydrated. Okay, I'm back in bed editing. As you can see, today's like a little lazy day at home, but I prepped myself some chia pudding with the new blueberry yogurt I got yesterday from Dalesford. I added some mixed frozen berries and I topped it with bee pollen and cacao nibs. Cheers. So good. I've been editing all day, but I just made myself some toast. Uh, today, I topped my toast with honey goat cheese from the farmer's market and a slice of the heirloom tomato that we got yesterday from Dalesford. Drizzled with honey and balsamic glaze. So good. Although I've been productive, like editing wise, I have not been active at all yet today. I'm gonna go to the gym after this and get in a workout. So guys, I'm almost done. I just did 45 minutes on the treadmill. Guys, I didn't vlog much today because uh, I honestly didn't really do anything that interesting, but I just put a face mask on, lit a candle, I ran a bubble bath, it's currently 8.30 and I made dinner. I have this miso roasted salmon with crispy air fried asparagus sprinkled in salt. Like, oh, I'm so excited. This looks so good. I'm going to hop in the bath and eat my dinner. <coughs> Guess I'm still recovering. Good morning, guys. I just made myself breakfast. I have one egg and two scrambled egg whites with nutritional yeast flakes. And then I just have some protein sourdough with almond butter, banana, cinnamon, and honey. So excited. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to the gym in a bit. Today, I have an eye appointment that I've gotta go to. I'm having a hot gobble. Look how pretty all the flowers are. Such a cute town. Eating some chia pudding that I meal prepped for lunch. It's just chia seeds, raw milk, the Dalesford blueberry yogurt, mixed frozen berries, and cacao nibs and bee pollen. Slay! Getting some groceries. Love the MS calamari rings and they're on sale. Got a couple of those. Getting some salmon for dinner tomorrow night. I look so gross today. You do every day. I did my eye appointment. They made me take my contact lenses out. I'm walking around a little blind. Cute, cozy, like Olivia Jade vibes. Like walking the dogs. Snacking on some calamari on the way home in the car. I just made some peanut butter jelly toast. I don't know why I'm so tired. Like, I don't know. I need to go on a walk later, get some more steps in. So far, I've only done 7,000. Gotta hit 10K. So hopefully, this toast will give me a little extra energy. Guys, I'm back for dinner in the bath, part three. A Thai green soup. I added some shrimp, but I realized we only had like five shrimps left. Oh my God, it's steaming up in here. I knew that wasn't gonna be enough protein, so I'm having another packet of the calamari. Sorry, it's super steamy in here. I literally just ran the hottest bath of my life. I'm not showing how I look right now because I look really crazy and ugly, but I'm almost at 10K. It's bedtime. 
I made myself some lavender and mint tea with the mint from our garden. And I'm so excited because just one more sleep until Sammy comes tomorrow. I'm so excited. Yeah, sorry the past couple days kind of haven't been the most interesting. I haven't really done too much. But I thought it'd be nice to show you guys a more realistic week in my life. You know, it's not always glamorous and fun. I have myself a little treat. A little chocolate truffle with caramel inside. I don't know why, but when I was in the bath, I like lost my appetite. Could not eat my dinner. I ate most of my soup, but like I couldn't eat the calamari. I was so hot. I was just trying not to pass out, honestly. I have a problem of making my baths way too hot. Usually I love it, but not when I'm trying to like relax and eat my dinner in the bath. Good night. Good night. Love you. Good night. Don't stay up too late. Good night, guys. Oh my god. Hey. Good morning, guys. Okay, 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 I'm done, I'm done. So today is the day that Sammy's coming over. So excited to put away all these clothes in my room and like tidy up. Just made myself a honey and raw milk ice latte. Let's go ladies. Getting your steps in. Back from my walk and I made breakfast. I just have some sauteed leeks and peas, two eggs. Look how orange the yolks are. This looks insane. Just have some raspberry electrolytes. I'm on FaceTime to Sammy. <laughs> Lunch is served. My homemade tomato soup. Just roasted up some onion, garlic, tomatoes. Put in a blender with some chicken bone broth. And that's basically it. And then I made like a little grilled cheese. I just used one piece of bread. I put butter on the outside. I used some of this garlic and herb cheddar I got the other day from a little cheese shop in Cheltenham. And that's my lunch. I feel like this is supposed to be like a weekly vlog. Mm, it's so good. And this is kind of just turned into like a what I eat in a week. You don't understand, I've been craving a grilled cheese this whole week, so I'm so excited for this. That's a leap. Gotta get it dipped in the soup. Mm, I slayed that. I walked and fed the dogs. I just laid outside and read Verity. It's actually a pretty good book. I wanna show you something. It's a miso honey sesame salmon for dinner tonight with Sammy. It's coming up on five. I know I'm eating super late because this is like my lunch. I had breakfast at like one. That's because Sammy's train gets in at like 8.30. So we're going to be eating dinner super late. That's why I kind of made my eating schedule later than usual. After this, I'm going to go into town and I'm going to get some waffle cones. My mom's going to pick up some the best mint chocolate chip ice cream. It's from one of my favorite places called Jolly Nice. It's a little like farm. I've been going to Jolly Nice for years, like since primary school. I'm obsessed. And it actually started off as like a little small little ice cream shop place. And they just kept expanding to like a whole farm shop. I love it. Anyway, they have the best mint chocolate chip ice cream in the whole whole wide world and i was like i need sammy to try this so my mom's gonna pick up a tub of it to bring home but i need i need an ice cream cone with it i can't just eat the ice cream out of a bowl yeah i'm gonna go into town pick up some ice cream cones and then i'm gonna walk to the gym and work out use the sauna and i need to get ready at the gym because i was straight from the gym picking up sammy coming home eating dinner and then we're gonna film a video together so there's a lot to do I'm in Marks and Spencer's and I'm securing some waffle cones and then I think I'm gonna grab a bottle of water to bring with me to the gym. So I'm working out at the gym. Oh, it's hot. Just got out the sauna and it's makeup time. This needs some Billie Eilish. Probably turn that down. I'm in the changing room so I'm not really supposed to be filming but doing my makeup. Good morning! Say hi to Sammy! Nice. Matching in our Lulu jacket. So, so cute. slay. It's my first time wearing one. Very slay. Sorry I wasn't able to vlog yesterday when she came in. We ended up just filming for the Q&A and then we went to sleep. The salmon was so good. I do have a video of the salmon. It was so good. It was slay. Anyway, now we are oh, Saturday so morning. Cute. I'm at the farmer's market. All the pastries. Yeah, I don't know what to get. <laughs> it looks so good. So I'm trying She got the pistachio. Pistachio. The first bite's not going to be as great because right, you've got to get the filling. I was going to fake it. You gotta, okay, go for it. <laughs> Yeah, let's do another reaction, come on. <laughs> yeah, that is so good. Drowd Farmer's Market. Pretty flowers. Oh Just came to Woodruff's. Hey. Got to fuel up for our day. For the high ropes. So cute. I got my almond croissant. Yeah, the yeah, That's the good. matcha. It's really good. It's got almond milk and it's, I'm getting like marzipan notes. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, this has been terrifying. I'm not kidding, this has been so freaking scary. Like, I did not think I was this afraid of heights. 
a bicycle. Get it, go. <laughs> oh my god, you look so funny. How the hell do you get off of that? Guys. I fell on like one of them back there. I fell, we had to yell instructor. It was so embarrassing. It was actually terrifying. I think I saw my life flash before my eyes. My legs were shaking, like quaking, shaking. So high up right now, you don't want to find, like, can you, I think the camera's shaking because I'm shaking. I'm almost done completing level five. This is horrible. My hair, my hair looks disgusting because I was sweating. I just got off the extreme one and it was horrendous. <laughs> Guys, she did level six. No, I don't recommend level six. That was hard. 877. Ooh, no, that does, that's total. That's my total calories. Oh. Say hi, Otto. Oh, hi. Guys, we're at oh Dale's Fun. Are you so excited? I am. When I came home on Monday, I knew I had to bring Sammy and if she had to check it out. Oh, still so gorgeous. Got peanut butter cookie. Mmm. Just made dinner. Use this Dale's Fun coconut chicken curry with aubergine. And we're having it with peas instead of rice because we're yeah. so tiny and minuscule. <laughs> Can you even see me? Hello? Oh, I know, I'm so small. <laughs> Taste test. Mmm. I know. I know. Good morning. Having breakfast. Got two eggs and half a pizza toast with almond butter and blueberry jam that we got from Dale's Food yesterday. The other half is just butter and marmite. <laughs> Sammy's already got with hers. Oh, love you, Yoki egg. Yeah, but the ooh. Wow. Guys, this is phenomenal. I love how we've been eating healthy all week and we got a little cookie and an arrow brownie. But I took Sammy to my favorite coffee shop. Consistent, amazing cappuccino. See, as a, this as a medium size is like so good. I know, that's a medium, that's huge. My order is a honey cinnamon cappuccino with semi-skim milk and an extra shot of espresso. Isn't that the best thing in the world? Oh, it's good, guys. Nice. Nice. And you don't even like coffee. It's so good. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I feel like this vlog basically turned into like a what I eat in a week because on my like least interesting days, all I showed was the food. But I had such an amazing productive week and I really felt so much better about myself. I'm actually filming this little outro like a week later. And the past week has basically been the opposite. Being fully honest, I didn't strictly go 100% no social media. I mean, obviously I allowed myself to watch a YouTube video here and there, but I also, I checked Instagram a couple times. I kept a couple of my streaks on Snapchat. However, I wasn't aimlessly like scrolling through TikTok and I was never just on my phone for hours on end scrolling, which is what I usually struggle with. Even just having that little bit of a break from social media helped me be so much more productive and the past week has not been so much like that. When I went back to just scrolling aimlessly on TikTok, I haven't been working out every day or getting my steps in, even eating the healthiest. And I can really tell a huge difference in how I feel from like this past week versus the week you guys saw. So I definitely really wanna keep up my habits from this video I think also vlogging that week really helped me stay on track like knowing each day I was gonna be showing you guys what I'm doing I obviously don't want to just be sat around scrolling through TikTok and not being productive. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video Let me know what other videos you want to see next Bye